Good evening, everybody. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I can see the, uh, the mic going up and down on my screen, so hopefully the sound is all right tonight. Uh, but do put a comment if, if, if there are problems again, um, and Paul will let me know if uh, he can't hear me. Um, so yeah, welcome to our Eucharist. It's a little while since we've had one because I was away last week and the week before I did an evening prayer service for you pre-recorded because I had a PCC meeting. So yes, it's been a while since we've had our Tuesday evening Eucharist, but it's lovely to welcome you back to our service and I can see oh gosh there's five of you watching so that's great so we've got a nice little congregation this evening um, and today happens to be the feast of Saint Michael and all angels that falls actually today um, it's often a time when um, ordinations take place um, we call it Michaelmas and it, in, in the medieval period it was a huge festival Michaelmas um, one of the sort of quarter days of the years so you have Michaelmas and Christmas and then Lady Day and so on. Um, so yeah, Michaelmas is a really big festival and today I'm remembering all of my friends up in the North East because my parish um, in Houghtonless Spring where I was curate is dedicated to St Michael and All Angels and they have a huge feast in Houghtonless Spring every year which is around Michaelmas tide. So best wishes to all my friends up at Houghtonless Spring at St Michael and All Angels there. So it's lovely to be celebrating the angels today and don't we need their care and love and protection so much at the moment so that's what we're celebrating in our service this evening so i'll just prepare the slides so we can begin hopefully you can see that all right and we'll begin our service in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you and also with you. So we pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we come together to acknowledge where we have sinned, where we have let ourselves and God down. We have not always worshipped God, our creator. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We have not always followed Christ, our saviour. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We have not always trusted in the spirit, our guide. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So the collect for today, for the Feast of St Michael and All Angels, let us pray. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the ministries of angels and mortals in a wonderful order. Grant that as your holy angels always serve you in heaven, so at your command they may help and defend us on earth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob left Beersheba and went towards Haran. He came to a certain place and stayed there for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place. And he dreamed that there was a ladder set upon the earth, the top of it reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And the Lord stood beside him and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham your father and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie I will give to you and your offspring, and your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south, and all the families of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your offspring. Know that I am with you, and I will keep you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Then Jacob woke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, how awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Revelation to John. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they did not cling to life, even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens, and those who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you come to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So may I speak in the name of the living God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let me read to you the little blurb in my book for this particular feast day. Well, Michael, Gabriel and Raphael are the three named biblical angels depicted as the beloved messengers of God. Michael, which means who is like God, is portrayed as a protector of Israel and leader of the armies of God and is perhaps best known as the slayer of the dragon in the revelation to John. And you can see in the picture on the screen um, an image of Michael slaying the dragon and we we had some wonderful images of St Michael at our church in Hope in the Spring and I used to enjoy letting the children hunt out how many dragons they could find in our church. Michael thus came to be regarded as the protector of Christians from the devil, particularly those at the hour of death. Gabriel, which means the strength of God, is the one, according to the Gospel of Luke, who is sent to God to Mary to announce the birth of Christ. And of course, Gabriel's the one that comes in the dream to Matthew as well. Uh, not to Matthew, sorry, to Joseph in Matthew's gospel. Raphael means the healing of God. And Raphael is depicted in the book of Tobit. Now, the book of Tobit is in the Apocrypha, which are the sort of extra books that aren't in the official canon of the Bible, but are helpful to read in some versions of the Bible, particularly Roman Catholic ones, um, include the Apocrypha. If you can get hold of a copy of the book of Tobit from the Apocrypha, you might be able to find an old Bible on your bookshelf that might have the Apocrypha in the middle. I would really recommend reading the book of Tobit because it is an absolute delight. It's a bit like a fairy tale in some ways. It's really wonderful. And Raphael um, accompanies the character of Tobit in that story and he restores sight to Tobit's eyes. And so he's known as the Angel of Healing. A basilica near Rome was dedicated in the 5th century in honour of Michael on the 30th of September, with celebrations beginning on the eve of that day, with the result that the 29th of September became, came to be observed as a feast in honour of Michael and all angels throughout the Western Church. And interestingly, when the reformers started to reform things um, and the Church of England was sort of became born really, um, the reformers were quite Puritan and they weren't so keen on all the kind of uh, papist sort of things. And the feast of St Michael and All Angels was one of the few saints days that they kept in the calendar 
for the Church of England. So a lot of saints' days that were abandoned, but the feast of St Michael and all angels was kept, probably because these are biblical angels. It's a biblical festival, and so they considered it to be worthy of keeping in the church calendar, which is interesting. And I was looking in this book, which has readings set for all the different saints' days, and I haven't read this before. I don't know how I've not seen this before, but I found an ancient Celtic poem that's in praise of Michael the Archangel. And my suspicion is that it was written by somebody from Scotland because the translation, I presume it's been translated from, from Old English, um, includes the word maca. And I didn't know what a maca was. I don't know if you... It looks like machair written down. So those of you that do crosswords will be grateful for a new new word for crosswords. I'm talking to my mother there if she's watching. Um, but it's pronounced maca and it's a kind of low-lying fertile ground and you find a lot of maca land in the Outer Hebrides, places like Uist and the Isle of Lewis. Um, that's where you find the maca. So it's mentioned a couple of times in, in, this, in this poem um, that comes from Celtic times. It doesn't say doesn't have a date on it it just says an ancient celtic poem but it's rather lovely and there's a bit in the final verse that i know my mother-in-law caroline who's watching will enjoy so listen out for it caroline so this is the poem so it's really quite ancient and i think it's a farmer talking which seems quite relevant given that we're, we're in harvest period as well thou michael the victorious i make my circuit under thy shield thou michael of the white steed and of the bright brilliant blades conqueror of the dragon be thou at my back thou ranger of the heavens thou warrior of the king of all o michael the victorious my pride and my guide o michael the victorious the glory of mine eye i make my circuit in the fellowship of my saint on the macca on the meadow on the cold heathery hill though i should travel oceans and the hard globe of the world no harm can e'er befall me neath the shelter of thy shield. O Michael the victorious, jewel of my heart. O Michael the victorious, God's shepherd thou art. Be the sacred three of glory, I at peace with me. With my horses, with my cattle, with my woolly sheep in flocks. With the crops growing in the field, of, or ripening in the sheaf. On the macca, on the moor, in coal, in heap or stack. Everything on high or low, every furnishing and flock, belong to the holy triune of glory and to Michael, the victorious. Isn't it fabulous? <laughs> I'd never read that before. I think it's rather wonderful. So now we have some prayers set for today. So in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Father in heaven, by his blood your Christ has ransomed us to you and has made us a kingdom and priests to you, our God. As the angels minister to you in heaven, strengthen your church to serve you here on earth. We pray especially for all those who were ordained deacon and priest this weekend and especially those in our own Diocese of Derby and our friend Malcolm. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father in heaven, when the angels greeted the birth of your son, they sang for joy, glory to God and peace on earth. Bless with Christ's peace the nations of the world. We pray for all areas of the world that are experiencing violence and unrest. We particularly think of Hong Kong, of Belarus, of Lebanon, of Yemen. We pray for all those fighting the pandemic and those researching for a vaccine. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father in heaven, your son <coughs> has promised to your children the care of the guardian angels who look upon your face. Protect by your mercy our neighbours, families and friends. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father in heaven, you give your angels charge over those who trust in you to guard them in all their ways. 
be with all those in trouble. In a moment's quiet, we bring before God those known to us who are in need of our prayers. Rescue them and show them your salvation. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father in heaven, your angel declares, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit, for they may rest from their labours, for, for they take with them the record of their deeds. Enfold in your love all those who have recently died. And today I want to especially remember my friend Jackie. And we think of John Wybrow and David Hull and others of our loved ones who we see no longer. And we pray that God would enfold them all in, in his love and all who come in faith to your judgment seat in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father in heaven, the angels sing by day and night around your throne. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. With Michael, prince of the angels, who contends by our side. With Gabriel, your herald, who brings glad tidings. With Raphael, the protector, who ministers your healing. And with the whole company of heaven, we worship you. We give you glory. We sing your praise and exalt you forever. Amen. And so now we come to share our virtual form of peace, uh, either by clicking a like or a thumbs up or just writing the word peace in the comments. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. So we offer one another a sign of that peace. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your son Jesus Christ to be our saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. 
Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St James, St John the Baptist, St Michael and all angels and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. So we pray for the coming of the kingdom in the words our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. The body of Christ, broken for us, keep us in eternal life. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for us, keep us in eternal life. Amen. body of Christ Amen. the blood of Christ Amen. you may wish to hold your palms out upwards as we pray this prayer together Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O oh, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, in these days of mercy, make us quiet and prayerful. In these days of challenge, make us stronger in you. In these days of emptiness, take possession of us. In these days of waiting, open our hearts to the mystery of your cross. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let's bow our heads to receive God's blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for coming along this week. It's been good to share with you once again. Uh, this coming Sunday at 10 o'clock is our Harvest Festival service at Balbra Church. So it'd be lovely to see you there or you can always watch it on our church Facebook page, the St James Balbra page. It will be streamed live at 10 o'clock and then the video will go up on YouTube later. So um, hopefully we'll see you very soon. Take care, everybody.